everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I'm here with my April TBR for 2022. If you are new to this channel, then you don't know this. But my mom actually picks my TBR every month, and she always has a little theme that goes along with the books that she chose. So the theme this month are visitors that you do not want in the middle of the night. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that she chose is The Memory Thief by Lauren Manzi, and this is for Thief. You definitely do not want thieves in the middle of the night, but this book, I will say sounds so much fun and I didn't even know I had this on my shelf. Apparently it is an arc from 2019 that I was not aware of. I'm going to read like the back little tiny bit first just so that you guys kind of get the idea of what it is because it's very complicated but sounds very cool. But it says, in the city of Craywick, memories reign. The power-obsessed ruler of the city, Madame, has cultivated a society in which memories are currency. Citizens are divided by ability and gifted individuals can take memories from others through touch as they please. And it follows 17 year old Etta whose mother had an accident which left her in the city's asylum and she wants nothing more than to leave this very cruel city. But then Madame threatens to put her mother up for auction which is basically where they take criminals memories and auction them off before they're killed. So Etta will stop at nothing to stop this from happening and so she rejoins a secret rebel group called the Shadow in order to stop it from happening and it's like the story of that but I love rebel stories so I'm very intrigued by this and also the whole memories as currency thing seems really cool to me so I am so here for this. Next up she chose To Catch a Killer by Cheryl Scarborough and this is obviously for a killer. You definitely do not want a killer in your midst while you're asleep. I'm just saying. This is about a girl named Erin Blake who everybody knows because when she was a toddler she was in the news because her mother was murdered and she spent a while sitting beside her dead mother's corpse where she was later found and now her science teacher has been found murdered and Erin believes that it is her mother's killer at it again and it's like the story of her trying to solve that case I believe. This was super popular when it first came out on booktube and then everybody was hauling it but nobody ever talked about it. We're gonna see if I actually like it but it does definitely sound like it would be a very quick easy read so we're here for this one as well. Next up is Destroy All Monsters by Sam J. Miller. Obviously, monsters. Don't want those under your bed, but this is about two teenagers named Solomon and Ash. Solomon is living in this alternate universe. He is a monster. Ash is in the normal world where high school happens, bullies happen, and then she meets Solomon. Ever since she met Solomon, she thinks that he's a little bit strange but can't quite figure out why. She ends up falling out of his treehouse and losing her memory, and so she has to try to piece together her memories to figure out what is up with Solomon. So I don't know if he's actually a monster or if this is like a metaphor for something Else, but I'm definitely interested and I want to know what this camera is for. I just, how does that play into the story? I need to know the answers. Next up is We Are Ghosts by Vicki Skinner. Another thing you definitely do not want anywhere near you when you're sleeping, but this follows a girl whose brother recently died in a car crash. She is dealing with her grief and she ends up going on a road trip with her brother's best friend and ex-girlfriend and it's like the story of that. So I'm not sure if they're all grieving, trying to figure out what happened to the brother. It says it was a car accident, so maybe he caused it, maybe he was hit by somebody, we don't know. But it says that it's like a self-discovery kind of book, so I'm assuming she learns about herself along the way. So Next up is Grave Maidens. This is by Kelly Kuhn. This is because she just thought it sounded creepy and you know, you probably don't want a grave maiden anywhere near you in your nighttime routine. But this is about a king who chooses three maidens to come with him to the afterlife. There are two sisters. One of the sisters is chosen for this ritual and the other sister tries to save her from this death sentence and it's like the story of that. This is another one I have never seen anybody actually read on booktube but a lot of people did haul it so another one that maybe I'll be the first one to uh enjoy it. We'll see. Next up is The Arsonist by Stephanie Oakes. This was 100% a cover buy for me. Honestly, no idea what it is about, but like, can you take this in? Beautiful. And also the back, I just think it's so pretty. All I know about this is that it follows three teenagers, and I believe one of them is from an alternate timeline, like in the past, and the other two are told to research her death and like figure out who killed her 
I'm not sure, but I am definitely intrigued. It is a chonker. I could kill somebody with this book, but hopefully we enjoy it and it goes quickly. It is pretty big writing, so I should be able to fly through it. But like I said, total cover buy. And then the final one is I Know Who You Are by Alice Feeney, and this one is because it reminded her of a stalker, and you definitely do not want a stalker don't want it. But this follows a famous actress who everybody knows and then her husband ends up going missing and the police think that she is hiding something and it's like the story of trying to figure out where the husband went. But this is another one. Never heard anybody haul it or talk about it on booktube so I have no idea what it was about. I think I got it from the thrift store and it was one of those like buy four get the fifth one free and I need another book and my mom saw it and was like this sounds like it's up your alley which it is, so hopefully we actually like it when we read it. I believe I have it on audiobook as well, so we should be able to get through it pretty quickly. All right, everybody, so those are the few books that my mother picked out for April TBR 2022. Will they be read? I don't know, but let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!